Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. So Battlefield 1 was released and SLI performance has been noted to be very bad. Uh, I have searched around on Reddit and forums and everyone is reporting the same performance on SLI with single cards, low GPU usage, low FPS, people of course installed the latest NVIDIA driver which was game ready for BF1 but the performance is worse than the beta. After some experimenting I figured out it's not a driver issue but a GeForce experience problem. Somehow it sets up PF1 to perform with low GPS usage on SLI so this is how you will revert to an old GeForce experience application using the new driver. If you don't need GeForce experience you can stay away from updating it and keeping your performance on BF1 safe. I don't know if this is a bug or Nvidia intentionally broke the SLI performance on BF1 but here you can see me using the latest driver running the game capturing with GeForce Experience Shadowplay. I'm using 2980s on SLI, ultra settings on 1440p. I am using MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner for the on-screen display to show FPS and GPU usage. As you can see, GPU usage is around 80% and FPS is around 82. Now let's revert to an old version of GeForce Experience. You will need a tool to do a full uninstall of the current NVIDIA driver. Google NVIDIA uninstaller and you will find it. After decompressing it on desktop, you need to reboot in safe mode to use it. Open Windows Settings, Update and Security, Recovery and click Restart Now on Advanced Startup. I will start recording video from my phone now because I can't screen capture this. Click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings and hit Restart. Your computer will restart and you will present it with some options. Hit 4 on your keyboard to boot in safe mode. From here you will unzip the application and run it. Click Clean and Restart and wait for it to finish. After you restart installed an old driver, I used 372.54. There is an archive on Nvidia's website to download all drivers. After the installation finishes, you need to restart, reactivate SLI and some options I use for best performance. Right click on the desktop, open NVIDIA control panel, navigate to configure SLI on the left and select maximize 3D performance, hit apply and wait. After it finishes, go to manage 3D settings on the left and set the power management mode to maximum performance, preferred refresh rate on highest available, and vSync to off. These are the settings I always use for the best performance on my 144Hz monitor. 
I apologize for the bad quality of the video now, the screen capture program uses low resolution for some reason. If you try to run the game with the old driver, it will give you an error message to update the driver. Now let's update to the latest version of the driver. This will update the driver but keep GeForce experience to the old version until you manually update the first time you run it. After the update of the driver, restart your computer even if it doesn't ask you to. Now I will start recording using my phone since I can't use Shadowplay to record. I will be getting in the same map, in the same point and as you can see the GPU use adjusts to over 90% at all times on both cards and FPS is over 100 even hitting 117. And now just to prove it's not because screen capturing, I will update the application, let it optimize my games and record using my phone. Running BF1 again on the same map, same point, with GeForce Experience updated, you can see that we are where we started, in the 80% usage and around 80 FPS. Performance on BF4 with the latest driver is fine, I don't see why Nvidia decided to screw BF1. Seems like the future of SLI is uncertain, with new games coming out without SLI support or poor optimization for multi-GPUs, not to mention that Nvidia dropped 3 or 4 way SLI completely. Anyway, hope this helped you. If you don't use Nvidia experience, you can leave it without being updated and keep the best performance on BF1 until a fix arrives. Now it's time to play the game. If you want, you can add me as your friend on Origin so we can play together. My username is G with underscore, so I will be waiting for you.